Christina here. Today I'm going to be showing you a really quick way to use some of the Hero Arts Cards with Messages sets and kind of amp them up a little bit. So this is the boxed set that I'm using today. It has a really cute pre-printed card. They all come with pre-printed cards and then four small sentiment stamps. And on the back they tell you exactly what to do, some really basic instructions. So it's really great for gifts for people who might not have caught that crafting bug quite yet and don't have a plethora of supplies, or if they do have a lot of supplies, I'm going to show you a way you, that you can step it up and kind of create your own card. So first I'm going to show you the really basic card. And all you really need is a stamp pad and then the kit. And so I'm going to, I'll use this one right here, this is just saying hello. And I'll just stamp that right there in the center of that area. So that's the really basic card, and now I'm going to show you how you can step it up a little bit. All right, we're going to change the card. I'm going to take, I have some layering paper right here. I'm going to eventually place that right there. It's going to cover up most of that the blank area, leaving the pattern on the sides. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have some ribbon tied here at the bottom, but right above the ribbon, I'm going to take the happy birthday stamp and I'm going to stamp it mm, probably about three or four times and in Versamark and then I'll use white embossing powder to make that color uh, set off from the red. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I also want to show you um, a way you can use these woodblock stamps and make sure your sentence in the right area. I'm going to be using a, a Stampamajig. The Stampamajig is a stamp positioner and this is the way you use it. You have your imaging sheet and then you have your T-square. This is the actual tool itself. And I'm going to take that little sheet and push it up into the corner of the tool. You can use either side, you can use it horizontally, however you like. Now I'm going to take some ink and the happy birthday stamp. And I'll bring it up into that corner and then straight down. And now I have that stamped image on the imaging sheet. This image will, you can take it off with some stamp cleaner or a baby wipe, anything like that. But now we're going to clean the stamp. Make sure it's super clean. And we're going to switch inks. So I'll put this ink away. And now I have Versamark. All right, and just to make sure I'm getting these straight, I'm also going to take a pencil. I'm just going to draw a really light line. Right across there. That'll just give me a little bit of an idea to make sure I get it on there straight. So I'm going to position that on the paper. Bring in my T-square tool again. Then I take this part away and cut my stamp and then I come in and stamp right there. It's a little bit hard to see, it'll darken up a little bit, but it gives me a good area, a good guide for where to make these repeated stamps. And I'll erase that pencil line. And I'm going to be putting it right here, but I thought it would be nice to have a little circle punched out so you could see that one bird right there at the top. Alright, so top of the bird's right there, the bottom of the bird is right there. I'm going to punch a circle and try to make sure that I get it in that area. Okay. So then I can put it right over the top, just like that. So I'll erase those pencil lines. And I'm going to take some pink ribbon. I'm just going to tie it around the bottom and into a bow. Alright, now I'm going to take this and put dimensional adhesive on it. Alright, and we'll get that position just right. Thank you. 
and then I'm going to take a white gel pen and go around the edges of the red area including the punch in the center okay so there's the card here's the simple version and then here's the stepped up kind of amped up version hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching